hello to all my amazing viewers you all are welcome back again to this channel so join me today let's make this fluffy and soft japanese cake so to make this fluffy cake first start by mixing your dry ingredient add one cup of flour cornstarch a pinch of salt and baking powder into a mixing bowl then use a fork to mix everything together once you are done mixing set it aside then take out another two mixing bowl crack your raw egg then separate the egg white and the egg yolk so for this recipe i'm using only three raw eggs set your egg white aside then pour vegetable oil into the next bowl containing your egg yolk Add one tablespoon of condensed milk, a small amount of water, your sugar, then add in your vanilla extract. Use your hand wicks to mix. Next, sieving the dry ingredient into the bowl containing the wet ingredient. And make sure you sieve in the dry ingredient gradually. Do not add everything at once. Then use your wheat to mix. And after that, sieve in the remaining dry ingredient. So continue mixing until you form a lump free batter. After you are done, set it aside. Then take out the next bowl containing your egg white, add in white vinegar, then use your hand mixer to beat the egg. And while mixing, add in your white sugar powder gradually, then mix on a low speed until you are done frosting your egg white. So next, scoop in your frost egg white into your cake batter gradually while you mix make sure you do not over mix it Done mixing in the egg whites, then place a baking sheet in your baking pan. Then pour in your cake batter into your baking pan. Preheat the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then bake your cake for about 20 to 25 minutes. So, 25 minutes later, take out your cake from the oven. Then insert a toothpick or a skewer in it. If it come out clean, that means your cake is ready. Then let the cake cool down before you take it out from the baking pan. So this is my cake after I'm done baking it. As you can see, it came out very good, soft, fluffy and also delicious. You can also try out this recipe and tell me what you think about it on the comment section. And please, if today is your first time of coming across this my channel, don't forget to subscribe after watching this video. And also like and share this video to show your support and appreciation. It will motivate me to share more recipes. So I'm sending a big shout out to all my old and new subscribers, especially all my returning viewers. Thank you all for always supporting this channel.